I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise I call random pulls. The purpose is to train yourself to identify patterns and strengths in your drawn hand. And when you get 28 tiles, or 27 if you're a non-dealer, you're not overwhelmed. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to use these dice to determine which player we are. Player one will be odds. Player two will be evens. So I rolled an eight. Therefore, we're going to be player two for this exercise. I'll get 27 tiles. Okay, this will be interesting. We have a little gap here with news. We have Ness. Ness. North, south. Pairs. Here's some flowers. Pung of Green Dragon. Five, seven with dots. Twos with our bams. Fives with cracks. What about north and south with fives? North and south with fives. That's the fourth hand down. We even have flowers. And you need Kongs of fives. North and south with fives. The fourth hand down and the fifth hand down are essentially the same hand. One is with north and south with odds. The other is east and west with evens. I think that is a really nice idea, but let's look and see if we can do something with these without the fives. We have the dragon. I wonder if we could do a year hand. We'd have to get more flowers. Joker bait. Okay, I think this is what I would do. North and south with fives, for sure. Down here, a year hand. We could do news with the year concealed, or we could do flower the year and Kongs of Dragons. We have a gap, no red dragon. That's why I held options for other year hands. We could discard all these and hold this for Joker Bait. That's how I would do this. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull one and what you would do here. North and south with fives, year. I think that's what I would do. Okay, we're gonna go to the next one now. I rolled an even number, so we're going to be player two again. Wow, look at those. If we had five BAMs, that might be nice. Let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Four numbers in a range. Six, seven, eight, nine. What about the quint? Pair, pung, kong, quint. I think I would do it. Quint, the very first quint. Pair, pung, kong, quint. We might have to use this for the quint and then fill in. But I think I would totally go for a quint here. If the quint didn't come in and we got a five on time, we could do five through nine and discard that. But I think a quint. Now, this hand, dragons. What about the year hand with dragons? I would hold this for the year category, this for joker bait right there, and then these would all be just, oh, joker bait right here. Okay. Year hand with dragons. Quint, Joker Bait, Discards. So really, I try to get to eight discards or less, but we have six discard or five discards with Joker Bait. So I think that's okay. We really probably won't be able to use this if we're gonna play the year with dragons, but this is an option. More likely than not, it would be a discard. But I like to hold all the tiles in whatever category I'm playing within reason. Like I wouldn't keep this south because there is news in the year category. But because we're so strong with the dragons, I, I really think that we should just pick the hand so that we could use those dragons and the flowers. So I would not hold the south. So sometimes, depending on the category, you don't have to hold all the tiles, but holding the ones and nines might be a good option. I think this is what I would do here. I was thinking that we do have potential for the two, four, six, eight pair hand flowers two four six no eight crack no two bam four six eight so there's two gaps no two the the twos for crack or the eight for cracks is missing and the two for bams is missing so that's two gaps i would not do that i think i would rather do the year and leverage these dragons That's what I would do. If you would do something different here, let me know. We could do six, seven, eight, nine. But then six, seven, eight, nine, we would still have two pairs of joker bait. And this is a quint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, versus eight. But this is a higher point hand, 40 points as opposed to 25. So maybe hold these as an option. Let's see, no, not these. Six, seven, eight, nine, hold these as an option. Discard these four first. Hold this for joker bait. And then maybe discard these. We're kind of in between six, seven, eight, nine, and six, seven, eight, nine quint. That's probably a little safer having a backup plan for this quint because we have only one joker. Once we pung here or kong here or quint here, then we won't be able to act here and here and vice versa because we have only one joker. So having a backup plan is probably a smart thing to do. Let me know if you like that plan. We're going to do this one more time. I 
I rolled an odd, so we're going to be player one for this one. I'll get 28 tiles. Well, this will be interesting. No jokers. We have a pair of flowers. We have almost news. Pung of fours. Pair of five cracks with our crack suit. Threes with bams. Nice consecutive run with dots and then a pung of nines for dots. So we need a plan here. I'm thinking we might be able to play a three, six, nine hand, or maybe odds one, three, five, seven, nine. And then let's see, four, five, four, five, Three, 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 news almost. I think this is pretty weak. We could maybe do a year hand, but we have no twos at all. I think we should discard the, the wins. Three, four, five, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five. Five, seven, nine. So I think I would hold odds. One, five, nine, one, three, five. One, three, five with nines. One, three, five with nines. One, three, five. I think I was thinking of a lot of, what was I thinking? One, three, five. One, three, five. Five, seven, nine. One, three, five, five, seven, nine. Potential. Or one, one, three, five, seven, nine. I think I would still hold all the odds. Three, four, five, Kong. This would be the third hand down under consecutive run. One, three, five, five, seven, nine. I was thinking we could do four, five, four, five. But that would deplete this. I think I would want to hold every odd and see what shakes out. Discard all these before we decide. Consecutive run, odds. And there's any number, lots of hands that could be played here. Even maybe the one, three, five pair hand. That's pretty light. I don't think I would play the pair hand. That would be the third hand down. I think I would just stick with mixed suit odds and there there are several that could be played here but i would want to leverage the the nines at least two of them so i think probably either the first hand or the last hand concealed in which case we wouldn't be using that 
135579 or 13579. Either way, we didn't use this either. So we have 10 discards, which is kind of a lot. But I would hold these just in case. And really, even holding that for potential flexibility here. Three, four, five, even this one. Consecutive run, if you hold four numbers in a range, three, four, five, six, that would give some flexibility. Discard those. If you have a lot of discards, think about plan Bs and try to work them in and hold tiles for whatever category you're playing. If you would do something differently here, write pull three and what you would do. When you get your drawn tiles, look for repeating patterns or multiples. With the remaining tiles for whether it's a repeating pattern or multiple, gather tiles that support them and pick the category or categories to play that fit those tiles. By a process of elimination, hopefully you'll come up with some discards, eight or fewer. I think that's a really good guideline that indicates a strong potential for a winning combination. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.